Just a quick word about essentials. There are essential amino acids uh, protein from protein. There are essential fatty acids, just a few of them, and only one of them is hard to find. And then there's essential carbohydrates. No, no, there isn't. There are no essential carbohydrates. There's only uh, the only thing they count as a carbohydrate is uh, sugar, glucose from plants. And that is, I, I set it up that way for a reason. Essential part of protein, essential part of fat, they're two macronutrients. Uh, macronutrient is the source of calories. Micronutrients, vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients, uh, they're not about calories. The macronutrients are about calories. You can get calories from protein, you can get calories from fat, you can get calories from carbohydrates. So they're the macronutrients. And of those three, there are easy to identify the eight or nine essential amino acids from protein, that you need them to build your own protein. There's, there's essential fatty acids, uh, omega-3, 6, 9. You need to eat them. Uh, you need to eat. You can't make it yourself. Essential amino acids, uh, essential fatty acids. You have to get them from an exterior source. Well, what about carbohydrates? It's the red red-headed stepchild. It's the, it's the unloved orphan. And it's so profoundly misunderstood and disrespected. It's true. There are no essential carbohydrates. But there's an infinitude of essential plant nutrients, uh, antioxidants. Why are antioxidants not part of the essential part of carbohydrates? I don't know why. I, nobody knows why. I don't think that anybody's asked the question before. It might be buried away in some uh, maybe very popular uh, vegetarian book, but the, the point is there's a, a, a huge incorrect emphasis on these, what would it be, uh, nine plus three. Hmm. What is that? What does that up to? So there are a dozen essentials. And then the 40,000 phytonutrients, plant nutrients that are identified, not one of them is essential. Um, I don't know, vitamin C. Not all protein sources have every amino acid, or at least in sufficient uh, amounts. Not all plant materials have vitamin C. But that's the thing. You only need nine amino acids. That can't be hard to get. You only need three. Omega-6, omega that's vegetable oils. Not at all hard to get. I mean, exactly the opposite. You get way, way, way too much of it. But the omega-3, that, that is hard to get. Uh, it's in plant materials and it's in uh, cold water fish are the two major easy sources. Plant material, flaxseed oil, walnuts. Who eats a lot of walnuts? Most people don't. Uh, flaxseed oil is linseed oil, what you curry down the horses with. and help them with, uh, well, it's liniment. It uh, helps with sore muscles. You bind up the, the limb. That's linseed oil. That's flaxseed oil. My point is, of all the macronutrients, of all those three, the really, really important one is, well, all of them. They're essential. Just because there's no essential carb, uh, and they make the mistake of thinking that carbs are is sugar or they're starches, just profoundly ignorant, profoundly destructive. The reason fad diets work, you know, and they do, so Atkins and uh, Zone, the, the, high, the high fat and high protein diets, the reason they work to lose fat is they make you cut out the bad carbs, the industrial carbs. Well, yeah, and that kind of goes along with cutting out carbohydrates in general, um, almost meaning this term in this context. They, they very, very much will cut out plants. So, yeah, you'll lose the fat. My, the, the reason I talk in this context about the value of plants is that's where the nutrition is. <laughs> That's where all the nutrients are. You can get all the protein you need, you can get all the fat you need, and then you can get all these other uh, nutrients that are unique to plants from plants. Well, fat sources, <laughs> there's no amino acid. There's no other plant material. It's just the, it's just the lipids. So I'm not, I don't want to overemphasize. Let me put it this way. If you had a choice and you could only eat fat, or you could only eat protein amino acids, or you could only eat um, carbohydrates, and I don't mean pasta, I mean plants. If you could only eat one of those three sources, who would live and who would die? Who would thrive and who would turn into, into those starved cats? Was it potentures? Uh, cats. The answer, it answers itself. So I, I'm talking about this because it's what's essential. And a high nutrient diet is essential. High nutrient diet, not high amino acid. Not high essential fatty acid, high nutrient. 
very simple point, but worth making. Uh, it, it, I tell you, it should change the way you think of it. Just this simple little thing. And I'm, you know, I'm very casual, friendly talks. It should change the way you think. This what under eight minute video should change your perspective. Every time you hear somebody on the whatever your information source would be talking about nutrition, uh, Joe Rogan um, talking about nutrition, there's just one question that should be at the top of your list in terms of nutrition when the various people that he speaks with, and that is, what's the highest source of nu nutrient? Uh, they, they all talk about a specific issue. Oh, there's a, this problem. And I'm not looking at individual problems. I'm looking at the overall picture. Very simple. And what we see is there's one major, major uh, player on the field, and that's plants. And then the, frankly, minor players on the field are these other two. Important, essential, but minor, miniature, in terms of the shadow they cast, except that you need them. All right, so that's enough. Essential, what is essential? Then you have to answer that question for yourself. And have a great day.